We're here in Vermont where there's a battle brewing that could determine the future of nuclear power for the U.S. At the center of this battle, this nuclear plant, the same design as Fukushima. The Vermont Yankee Nuclear Power Station is 40 years old. Its operating license, issued by the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or NRC, is set to expire next month. It's one of 23 Mark I designed nuclear reactors in the U.S. The problems with this design are well known to industry insiders, including the NRC, according to government documents dating back to 1972. 1972, the NRC said we never should have licensed this Mark I design, period. But they also said we've got so many of them licensed already that if we were to change our mind, that would ruin nuclear power forever. Arnie Gunderson is a former nuclear industry executive turned whistleblower. He says because of design flaws, Vermont Yankee and other plants like it across the U.S. are one major earthquake, tornado, or flood away from disaster. And that's a fear bordering on reality after massive floods and tornadoes hit Vermont last year. If something were to go wrong at Vermont Yankee, this would be the damage area. And given its recent history under the ownership of a company called Entergy, there is reason to be concerned. So let's go over this list one by one of, of all these mechanical errors. We had six piping leaks in the plant, three piping leaks in the ground. Then we had the fire and the cooling tower collapse. And that's just in the last five years. None of these problems would lead to a meltdown, but show a pattern of sloppy maintenance. We wanted to speak with Entergy's CEO, Jay Wayne Leonard, but he declined our request. The company's credibility in Vermont took a hit in January 2010 when radioactive water was discovered in monitoring wells. A leak coming from underground pipes beneath the plant. This after plant owners had testified under oath that such pipes didn't exist. Entergy has since claimed to have fixed the problem. Vermont's Attorney General, Bill Sorrell, was shocked to discover the pipes existed. They repeatedly denied that they had that until they had a leak of tritium, which is a radioactive material that was discovered in underground testing or monitoring wells, and they went, whoops, uh, sorry, we made some misleading uh, statements to you because, in fact, misleading. We, yeah. Are you? Do you think they were misleading or were they lies? Uh, I don't know. They were not. The statements that they made were not true. Despite its age and recent problems, last year the NRC granted Vermont Yankee a 20-year extension. Where I have had problems is that the NRC has in some cases become a cheerleader for the nuclear industry. Clearly, uh, the NRC has got to be vigilant. And Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders sits on the Senate committee that oversees the NRC. They have always extended. Uh, when, when companies have come in and said, we would like an extension, I believe over 60, in over 60 instances, they have granted everyone. And that's a problem. That's a problem. We wanted to talk to the NRC over a six-week period, we repeatedly requested an interview at any time or day of their choice, but we were told they were overbooked. So we decided to show up anyway and see if we could get some answers. We've been contacting you guys for about a month now uh, to get an interview on a really important story. So we're actually outside right now. We're downstairs. A spokesman came outside soon after we arrived. We've Haven't... received the agency's response via our director of public affairs, Elliot Brenner and yeah. that's the answer for the agency. Yeah, so no one's going to talk to us? No. I actually have the exact quote here on your site. It says that the NRC is devoted to open government, open, accountable, accessible. Yes, all of our information is available on our website. But, but if you guys are accessible to the public, how come you can't sit down with us for a five-minute interview just to explain your side of the story? because the subject that you want to discuss is something that's currently a matter of litigation that the agency cannot discuss. But we, we don't want to just discuss 
the energy plant, sir. We want to discuss overall how the NRC is regulating nuclear power in the United States, something that affects every single American, Americans that are paying your salaries. And the agency's answers on those general to topics are available on the agency website. But, but we want to know from the commissioners, from the head of the NRC. And all five commissioners, including our chairman, are currently before a House subcommittee at this moment. Therefore, that is the place to get your... So if we're waiting out here, can they come and talk to us when they get back? I do not know at what point the commissioners would return. Uh -huh. But I look at it like this. If, if the NRC truly works for the public, the public is the NRC's boss. So I would never tell my boss that I'm overbooked and I can't do an interview. I understand. But again, I'll pass your request along and as soon as I have an answer, I'll be back up. Thank you, sir. Thank you.